Was it, he talking okay. about Arabic manuscripts? Huh? Was he talking about Arabic manuscripts? Yes, he was. Right. So if he's talking about Arabic manuscripts yeah. and he says the narrative have holes in it, what is he saying about the Arabic manuscript? Basically, let's say I say I leave Islam yep. because of the Quran, not because of the Quran, right? Yeah. Because of God, right? Yeah. But then I spend my whole career saying the Quran is a joke. You know what I mean? So like, you know mean like lots of ex-Muslims do. Yeah. Do you, you notice the rudeness? I'm trying to... Your proof if you're notice the rudeness. No, no, you notice proof. the rudeness. No, no, Abbas proof. is just a butt-hurt Muslim no, who doesn't like criticisms of Islam. No, no, That's no, what it is. No, Does every Muslim agree with him? No, listen to me. Does every Muslim agree with Dr. Yasser Kadi on every know, statement he makes? No, they don't. You Again. just read the comment section. Again. It's full of Muslims Again. saying Dr. Yasser Kadi Again. is wrong. Again. So Again. why doesn't Again. he debate? Because the he reason why Dr. Yasser Kadi doesn't does debate is because Dr. Yasser Kadi is scared no. that if he debates no. a Christian, no. he'll get debunked. You see, this brother's not even interested in. It. At no point has this brother engaged in the conversation. This one, the with the baseball cap and the sunglasses and the superiority complex that spoke down to my Christian sister, saying, "You Christians don't use logic. We use logic." He said he didn't remember. He said he didn't remember. Sorry, are you saying that you don't remember all that you do? That what, what one of these guys said to the Christian sister? What did, what did he say? Saying that Muslims use logic, Christians no, don't. He, didn't say that. he doesn't remember. So he's not a witness. The Muslim just lied. He's saying that he is saying that he is a witness. It's a, it's a show for you. This is not conversation. You, you want yeah. to show? No, no, no. This fun. guy, what? This guy right here is the Look, show. Just ignore him. You right. So let us talk. Are we agreed? We're talking now. Yeah, but I'm just. So me and you can I, have a conversation. I just said, right. Ask your question again. So, the, we, we, you just, we know that the Holy Spirit can't speak with God's authority. He, yeah. The Holy Spirit speaks with God's, the Father's authority, yeah. Yeah, so he, he, yeah. And then how about Jesus? Yeah, when, when Christ himself said, I have come in the name of my Father. Okay. He says that in the Gospels. When he says, I have come in the name of my Father, that has two, two implications. One, his actual name, Yeshua, which literally means Yahweh saves. And two, it is the authority of the Father that he's coming to speak in. So Orthodox Christian teaching is that ontologically Father, Son and Holy Spirit are equal. But in their relation to one another, both the Holy Spirit and the Son are under the authority of the Father. But they are the Father themselves. No, we don't believe that. You don't believe Jesus was God? No, you didn't listen to what I said. You asked one question and I answered it. You said, so Jesus is the Father, yeah. and I said, no. And then you said something different. You said, you said, oh, so you're saying Jesus isn't God. Yeah. We're not saying that. So is Jesus Let me hard? explain. Just, no, 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 yeah. brother. You just said it's that. not hard. Okay. Okay. The reason why, it, it doesn't matter how much I explain it okay. to you. Forget about religion. No, Let's one second. about religion. Let's try and use logic. Go on. Is Jesus I'm going to embarrass God. you now. Is he God? Are you, are you trying to say that one plus no, no, one plus no, no. one no, can't be say, three? No, is that what you're trying to say? He's trying to say that. I'm just trying to understand, is Jesus God, that's all I'm right. understanding. So let me answer his question and then I'll answer yours. Can you just let me just... No, just, no, I, I know because but, but you're I, being... I have the same question though, is Jesus the Father? So you I'm going no. to answer your first question and no, then I will answer his question. Can you answer Jesus is the Son of God? So, okay. brother, that's, brother, that's that's right. okay, you guys talk, I'm going to talk to this bro. Listen, yeah. So, in terms, of, in terms of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, Jesus is God. Why? Why? Because how, it's about how we use this term God. What does it refer to? Well, God means God, but I don't know. Wait, what wait, you, you, you say that. You say but, that. But what is your, but your meaning of God is what? Probably does God have authority? Huh? Does God have authority? Does a king have authority? Yeah. Is a king God? No. So, it is not the case that just because God is something, or that God has a particular property, yeah. that that means that anyone who has that property is God. Agreed? Agreed. Right, good. So now it is not so simple as to say that something that has the name of God, like mercy, because a human being can be merciful, yeah? A human being can be the first at something, yeah? So 
it is not as simple as saying that just because you've got this appellation, this name, you're a human and I'm a human. We're not the same human. Yeah? So, what we are saying is that Jesus is divine, but he is not the Father. Why? Because from eternity to eternity, without a beginning and without an end, the Son has been begotten of the Father. Which means that of the essence of the Father, the Son has his essence. Now, can the essence of God be anything other than God? Sorry, answer that question again. This is logic and now you're thinking. This is good. Now it's a conversation. Can the essence of God be anything other than God? Right, good. We agree. Totally in agreement with you. Now, if the Son has exactly the same essence as the Father, that also means that he's God as well. There you go. Now you get it. Now you get it. But if he has the essence of God, then yep. who chooses whether he has everything God usually has or not? Because you said that God is the you said that Jesus is divine. Yep. But he does not have some things that God usually has, like authority, stuff like this. It was great that but, yes, let me let me yes. Let, yeah, no, 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 let, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it, it, that, that, good. You, but the thing is, bro, you've made honestly, you know in the last five minutes, you've made more progress than most of the Muslims in the park. Because you've at least allowed yourself to follow a logic, which is that the essence of God can't be anything other than God. And if the Father and the Son have the same essence, then they're both God. But you also ask a fair question, which is if Jesus is the same essence as the Father, how is it that Jesus prays? How is it that Jesus doesn't know about the day and the last hour? That's a really good question. So, we Christians as well as believing in the Trinity, also believe in another doctrine called the Incarnation. Now, do you know what the Incarnation is? Okay, so the Incarnation is that the Son has taken on to himself humanity. Okay, and within that humanity, he is, he is subject to all the same things that we're subject to. Right? That humanity that he takes on to himself, isn't confused with his divinity. It isn't mixed with his divinity. It isn't, um, it isn't um, mingled with his divinity, but it isn't separated from his divinity. You see, all of this you're saying right now, it's like you can't really find that in the Bible, like word to word. Like, I feel like you're, yeah. this is your own, I won't say your own, but just your, I don't know how to explain it, but you can't find what you're saying right now in the Bible, how you say it. Okay. Like, like word to word what you said. I'm not, I mean, not even word to word, just like similar to it. You really can't find the Bible. Okay, because yeah. because even I've heard, I was listening to a Bible scholar and he said that when you read the Bible, it, 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 whether the, the Bible, like Paul, whatever, you know what Paul's like the Bible, did he believe in the Trinity? Yes, Paul believed in the Trinity. But, did he, but, but if he did, wouldn't it be in the Bible out blank? It is the in the Bible. Like literally Trinity is in the Bible. But like, right, right. So, so hold on. Because uh, if he believed in the Trinity, then he would have made it very obvious. Because you can't really read the Bible and come up with the thought of Trinity. You need, you need to look at second sources and like listen to people like you or other Christians. And then that's how you get the idea. You know okay, right. One second. Because there's people who are Christian, they don't believe in the Trinity. Can I reply? Oh, go ahead. Right, so please notice, unlike your friend, yeah. I didn't interrupt you, yeah. right? And that is a conversation when we don't interrupt one another. So now let me, now let me reply to your question, okay? Firstly, the idea that you, you can't get the, the Trinity from the scripture is a false one. Because Christians get the idea of the Trinity from reading the Bible from Genesis, the first book, to Revelations, which is the last book. That is vague. The one second, allow uh, me to finish. Uh, and when we take all the statements that the Bible says about God from, begin from first book to last book, it forces us to conclude Trinity, okay? Which is why you need to study with a, a, a learned Christian. But hold on one minute. Muslims have exactly the same problem. One second, five daily prayers is a pillar of Islam. But you can't show it me in the Quran. Yeah, you're right. One second. You're right. One second. The Shahada is a pillar of Islam. But you can't show me in the Quran. No, it isn't. I, I, no. I watched this debate with you, and I, I'm, I'm not sure it was. I think it was Hashim and he, No, it was Shamsi. You asked him this question, and he did show it. No, to he you. didn't. He did. No, he didn't. I, you I didn't listen did. to that debate properly. 
Well, to be honest, I'm what he did is he took what? one. No, what he did for that. What when I asked? I feel him, like what you're doing no, now, no, is brother. It switching it to brother, Islam? one because second. You know, Christian, he has no, no, this. I'm going to let me address the point, but you're interrupting. So, firstly, what actually Shamsi did is he took one verse from one part of the Quran and another verse from another part of the Quran and he stuck the two together and that's how he came up with the Shahada from the Quran. I was there, that's what happened. If I'm wrong, come back and show I me the clip. I don't think it is, and even if One he second. did do that, Christians do One that One second, well. exactly. So if we, if Muslims can do it about no, the fundamentals of their belief, you can't Muslim complain if Christians do it about the fundamentals of our but, belief. But, uh, Muslim scholars don't do it. Shamsi yes, might have done do. it. Yes, they do. They don't. Yes, they I've do. I have, I have not yet met a single Muslim anywhere in the entire world so, that can show me where it says plainly pray five times a day not one but it does say follow the teachings of muhammad ah right so then the question becomes well what are the teachings of muhammad and then you have to go to the ulama to get the answer to that question and depending on which ulama you go to you get different opinions okay but so hold on you said we Christians have to go to our fathers, our theologians to understand the doctrine of the Trinity. So you're doing what we're doing, but when we do it, it's wrong. But when you do but it, it's no, okay. But the Trinity is a fundamental, it's, like it's like the basis of your religion. It's five, if praying five well, times a day. Well, well, is, it, it, is it a pillar of Islam? It is. But so where is it in the Quran? I'm pretty sure it is in the Quran. Show me. Google it. You I, can't. I don't have internet. There ain't no so verse. I am telling you, okay, there is, is it, zero but, okay, verses in okay, the Quran okay, that okay, teach prayer enough. five but times it, a day. But is, it, but is it in the um, Hadith? Ah, hold on. But, <laughs> So it's not in the Quran, it's in sure. the Hadith. But like I said, I'm not it is sure. in the Hadith. You can get it from the it Hadith. It is in the Hadith, right? Okay. Yeah. So if, you, if, you, if the Christians had something similar, yeah. like, I would understand that. The authority of the church, you mean? Yeah, but the authority. But no, we do. But did Jesus we say do. follow the authority of the church? Exactly. Yes, he did. They, he, he said exactly that. Christ said, where? listen, in the Gospel of Mark and in the Gospel of Matthew, he said, um, he said to Peter, Petrus, upon this rock I shall build my church and give to it the keys to the kingdom of heaven and the gates of hell shall never overpower it. What you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven and what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. One second. It says that the church is the pillar of truth. The New Testament, the New Testament that you want me to show a clear verse from, the New Testament was written by Christians, for Christians, to Christians, and for Christians. Christians have the right to interpret the New Testament, no one else. And we are confident that the New Testament teaches the Trinity. So you said Paul, only Paul was the one that said it. Not no, Paul. no, Jesus, no, no. Jesus himself teaches no, the Trinity. But you said that it's in Paul, right? Paul was the one that, that in, uh, so how about Mark, they never said it. Yes, they do. But, so why did you just say Paul? I was give, using Paul as one of the examples of one of the authors. That doesn't mean that I'm saying that Mark didn't write it and Matthew didn't write it and John didn't write it and Luke didn't write it. I'm just saying that Paul was one of them that okay, wrote it. So, so who exactly is Paul like in his essence? Like who is he? Like is he, he wasn't a companion of Jesus? No, not a direct companion, no. So you see, I, I feel like you cannot really trust people if they're not, if they're no not offense, there at that time. But we don't care about that. That, that, exactly. that is irrelevant so, to us. So you don't I'm not, I'm not you, inviting you. I'm not inviting you to a religion like Islam. I'm inviting you to a better religion. Which you just said you do not care about things. No, no. About I said Paul. I don't care about this criterion. This is an but Islamic an criterion. No, no, it's not a Christian no, no, it's, criterion. It's an important criteria that, that the person ah, who writes the holy book. I, I would agree. Was there at the time. Let's One say, second. Let's say I write a book right about what happened in Speaker's Corner. You mean like the Hadith? Yeah, but there's there's, there's narrations. Like when were the Hadiths written? Again, this is what I'm saying. How many years after have, the Quran you was have the Hadith to written? Islam because you really cannot defend the, 70 years. So all the Hadiths were written 70 years, all of them. Can I ask you a question? You know what you just did right there? You know what you just did right there? I was saying something that was going to basically criticize Christianity and you just jumped to Islam. To show that your criticism is a glass, a man throwing bricks in a glass house. No, to show that you have not asked for the Okay, yeah, I will answer, but go on. Ask your Answer your question. I write a book about what happened in Speaker's Corner, but I wasn't even there, yep. I was there a hundred years later, and this is not hadith, this is like, hadith, hadith in my opinion is similar to the Bible, because in the hadith there's errors and contradictions, and in the Bible there's contradictions too, which Christians admit, but they say, 
uh, Bible, it's, we're not, uh, we love Jesus. Je Christianity is not a religion, it's Jesus. You know, many Christians say this. Right? Tell me when you're finished, I'll reply. Uh, okay. So what I'm trying to say is, I could not trust whether Paul, Mark, all these people were, because they were not even there at the time. Uh, and, and, and if you compare Mark Paul thing, they all had different views of, of specific time. Like what Jesus said on the cross. You, could, you cannot lie and say that they all had similar opinions about what Jesus said on the cross, because they didn't. In Mark and Paul, you find different things of what Jesus said. In Mark, he says something else. In Paul, he says something else. And also, even Bible scholars say that the, histor the history of the Bible is not accurate. So you can answer me, does Paul and Mark have similar point of views on the same thing? Okay, so you, mean, you raised a number of points, I'm going to reply to those points. I want everyone to remember, and maybe the camera wasn't here, but before the camera arrived, this brother was saying he wasn't a scholar of religion. But notice... Did I interrupt you? No, I'm just, did I interrupt you? I'm just I never heard did you. I why, interrupt why, you? Why are you getting so... Do you I know, the manners, I, man. I'm just Listen. asking you, we have so, a human, you don't need to be look, so... If I, have to, like, look, like, if I have to speak you over you, so I will perfect. do. Right? I, I, did, I didn't yeah, interrupt you. It's weird, it's weird, isn't it? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? So if you didn't hear me, why did you interrupt? Something stimulated you to interrupt. Huh? So you did hear me. So, I never heard you. right, so allow me to reply because it doesn't matter how long I have to take to give my reply, I will keep talking until I give my reply and you complain that I talk too much. But I'll keep talking each time you interrupt because I'll give you the same lecture about not interrupting. Now, you said, you said, Abbas, just chill, break. Right? You said, your words, before the camera came, I'm not a scholar of religion. And you did that, you did that, you both did it. He spoke for both of you, he spoke for both of you, and you did not correct him. You didn't go, I am a scholar of religion, but now that you've interrupted, I have to raise my voice. Because as always, you can't pay any simple courtesy. So, you said that you were not a scholar of religion, but, but when your friend said it about you, you didn't correct him. I, I don't, he's not my you friend. didn't say know. that. He's not my and he's, he's denying he's it, but friend. guys, that is what happened, he's, I assure you. I'm just going to have to speak a bit louder and talk to you guys, because this guy is not listening. He doesn't want to listen. He, he wants to have a conversation, but he wants to have a conversation where we listen to him, but he doesn't listen to us. Now he said, how how can you trust a book? How can you trust a book? How can you trust a book that was written hundreds of years later? Well, thank you for chucking the hadiths under the bus because the hadiths were written 200 years oh. after hey, Muhammad's hey, death. That's what happened. However, the New Testament was written in its entirety by 90 AD. So the New Testament is far closer to the events that it describes than the Hadiths. He says, why don't you have chains, Isnads? We don't need chains or Isnads because everybody knew who wrote Mark. Everybody knew who wrote John. Everybody knew who wrote Paul's letters. The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I'm not going to deal with Abbas until I finish with this guy's statement. Notice the poor manners, the triggered Muslims, once again in the park. They ask questions and then they interrupt the answers continuously. So, no, in terms of what else he said, he said the hadiths are full of contradictions. And he said the Bible was full of contradictions. Hold on a minute. Muslims use the hadiths to interpret the Quran. So if we can't trust a book that was written 200 years later that's full of contradictions, why do Muslims trust the hadiths? By his logic, he chucks the hadiths under the bus in his desperate attempt to attack the Bible. No, 
The fact of the matter is, what this brother needs to deal with, so we got one interrupting, two interrupting, three interrupting, they simply can't control themselves. So, so, in terms, no, it's the superiority complex, that's what it is. It's this idea that Muslims are better than everyone else, and that means that they feel that they can impose themselves so on other people the as they have done Hebrews. through history. Now, <clears throat> who wrote Hebrews? Now that we've took the hadiths Hello. under the bus, because Hebrews? they were written hundreds of years later oh, and are full of contradictions, out. let's deal with the argument that Paul it's writes so something screaming. different to you. Matthew or Hebrews? Paul writes something different to Mark. I would ask this brother what? to prove it. Mark teaches that Christ is God. Paul teaches Christ is God. Mark teaches Christ was crucified. Paul teaches Christ was crucified. Mark teaches Christ was resurrected. Paul teaches Christ was resurrected. In every way, Paul agrees with Mark. This brother asserted that they do. That's what you said. That's what they do. So, Thomas agree with them as well or not? You changed my question. I said what specifically Jesus said in each Bible, not what they teach. They could have teach whatever they want. I'm saying what Jesus yeah, said. What Jesus said on the cross is different throughout the Bibles. Okay, let me address that point. So, what, so you just lied then? Before. No, no, no. You said as a teacher. I'm no, I, I compared Paul. Paul never says what Christ said on the cross. What? So I didn't change your question. Paul never says what Christ said. That, that, that the what you're talking about is between Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Paul never makes okay, comments. You know what I'm. You know. No, what I'm no, no. You have made the accusation. But you know exactly you what should I know what you, you know, mean before you, you know, say it. But you know exactly what I meant. So let me address the question. Act like you're intelligent. Shall I address your question? Shall I address your question? Okay. So once again, the brother now chucks the Quran under the bus. I'm going to. I'm going to demonstrate the question is flawed, because if you take. What the Quran says happened in the Garden of Eden, in the different surahs of the Quran, and you compare the conversation had between um, Iblis, Allah, Adam, and you compare them to one another in the different surahs, the Quran puts different words in Allah's mouth and different words in Iblis's mouth and different words in Adam's mouth. The stories don't have the same dialogues. So, Example. if that means, Example. if that means that we cannot trust the Bible because the brother is right, in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the words from the cross are different. If that means we cannot trust the Bible for that reason, it means we more can't trust the Quran for that reason. Oh, it's not the same. It's not the same. Tell me how it's different. Wait, one second. No, one second. I, I, one second. I, no, I'm going to ask you a question. You have asked me multiple questions. I've addressed your question. You have asserted. You have a, You can wait your turn, Abbas. You have asserted. You have asserted that differences in dialogue in the Quran are not the same as differences in dialogue in the Gospels. Explain to me how they are not the same. When you say, again, when you say that, again, I'm saying, I'm, you know, in, uh, I'm not an expert in Arabic, but I'm just trying to like, just debate in it, because I'm only 17, but I, I like to know about things. So, you, you you just said, when you say dialogue difference in the Quran, what, give me an example quickly again, I never heard the example. Okay, so if you compare, yeah. I haven't got my Quran with me, or I would literally be able to show you, yeah, yeah. but I haven't brought my Quran yeah, today. Yeah. But if you compare the dialogues between Allah and Iblis and Adam in the Garden of Eden, yeah. you know when they sin, when Allah says, Oh Iblis, prostrate yourself to Adam, and then Iblis says, and then Iblis says, and then Iblis, and then Iblis says, um, No, I, I'm not going, I, you made me from like, you made him from clay. Yeah, you made me from like, you made him from clay. Do you notice the rudeness? I'm trying to... Notice the rudeness. Notice the rudeness. Notice the rudeness. Abbas is just a butthurt Muslim who doesn't like criticisms of Islam. That's what it is. Bob is a man with no balls, like Bible says. So, I'm giving you an example. I'm giving you an example. I'm, I'm giving you an example. I can't take a word for it. Go and check me. Go and check it. But there's no way. No, you go and check it out. Oh, right. So when you go home because and you, you do your research, you're going to find out that no, I'm right. You just admitted, well, right? That brother, there are differences one question, between, uh, Mark, 
uh, and I compared yeah. them to differences in the Quran. Quran can probably be refuted by, by well, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring Where's it. This proof? Tell him to you're you're proof. saying that these differences uh, uh, don't exist in the no, Quran. Is that your okay. argument? What? Are you saying that these differences in dialogue don't exist in the Quran? No, we are saying it doesn't contradict. It doesn't like your Bible contradict. Quran, some, I'm asking you a question, Allah, not a bash. Okay. My question to you okay. is: Do you believe that the Quran doesn't have different dialogues in the Quran? Dialogues dialogues in the Quran? Yeah. Oh, so you accept that there are differences? No, 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 no. That, but they don't contradict each other. So you accept that there are differences? Brother, somewhere Allah mentioned the whole story. Somewhere half uh, oh, story. Uh, oh, 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 no are you accepting that there are differences yeah, in yeah, the Quran? No, in one Quran or are you talking about the Quran? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, we, we know there's different Qurans, but I'm talking about it. whichever Quran you want to believe in, yeah. whether you believe in the Has, the Wash or the Dori, or all three of them, whichever Quran you believe in, or all of the Qurans you believe in, do they have a difference of narrative between Adam, Iblis and Allah, Something. where they put different words into their mouths at the same no, time. No, no, I can answer I'm that. I'm telling you they are. Somewhere there is a, a complete Quran. Like some, no, no, this is not a Quran. Is Somewhere it? is a complete story. This is a, it's a study of the, about the Quran. Somewhere is a complete story. Yep. Somewhere has a half story. Yep. Yep. But but no way it's a contradiction. Okay, have a, ha bro, bro, I just want to say, this brother is 17 and he is better at arguing against Christianity than most 17-year-old Christians are at defending it. Now that tells us two things. One, he has imbibed a script, a script that is nascent within his community and he's learnt it even though he's not a scholar. He can still marshal criticisms against the Christian faith that Christians at 17 can't answer. That tells us, brothers and sisters, we need to learn how to defend our religion. But it also says something else that this brother has a long way to go before he can search for truth genuinely because he has to be able to switch that script off I, I and talk no to Christians. I actually, have no script. I actually have an open mind and I look at Christianity and I just personally... Allah, Allah won't use it in the Quran, afala ta'akilun, afala ta'fakarun. Don't they think, they, don't they ponder? Islam always encourages you to think and ponder. So that's okay. If, if, think and ponder even if you're Muslim. I don't know if you're Muslim. Think and ponder this question. Brother? Could the Quran yeah, be wrong? Good to think. What? Think, it's just told you, I, no, the wait, Quran says the to wrong. think and ponder. Okay, no, you need to think I, about I, this no, question. No, 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 no. Could the yeah, Quran I, be wrong? Absolutely, that's a valid question. Any, any religion Thank can you. Bring I'm glad it's a valid question. It's a valid question. I've seen Bible scholars who admit that there's errors in the Bible. And they, that, that, like, I've literally many Bible scholars, right? And to me, that just... Can, for me, just name one. What do you mean? Name one. As in... Bart Ehrman. Bart Ehrman. Right, listen. He just said Bart Ehrman. Listen to what Bar Ehrman said about the Quran. Yes. The Qur no scholar of ancient antiquity would ever consider the Quran as evidence about the life of Jesus. Do you agree? Is he expert on Do you Quran? agree? He, oh, he, oh, he doesn't agree. No, 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 no. no, no. He, he doesn't agree. No, he doesn't agree. Why, why does he? Why does he reject the Quran as evidence? He's not expert. Tell me why? No, it isn't that. No, it isn't that. It's because he's an expert on antiquity and he knows that the Quran has zero relevance to antiquity. Okay, but, That's why. Bob, 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 He's an expert on antiquity. Bob, 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 he doesn't need to be Bob an expert on the Quran. We heard you repeating yourself. The Bart Ehrman, is he a scholar of Quran or Bible? He's a scholar of... of Bible. Simple question. He's a scholar of antiquity. Is he a scholar of Quran? Through the Bible. No, is he a scholar of Quran? He's a scholar of antiquity. No, no he's not a scholar right. of the Quran. So when he's, right. he doesn't he yeah. say something about the Quran, he doesn't know what he's talking about. No, he, no, no he, he does. does. Well, he does. Well, so I'll tell you why. Well, whenever, because when he studies the book, literature of antiquity, right you know one well, book that he doesn't me. find? He doesn't me. find Don't the Quran anywhere. So his words are right. Why is he talking over me? But that's not as bad as he is. He's a scholar of Bible. No, brother. And he's a Bible is corrupt like hell. Brother. The book of Hebrews. Nobody knows who wrote the book of Hebrews. Abbas, you says you've just shot yourself in the foot and you shot your Quran with it. Because Bar Ehrman is not just a scholar of the Bible. New Testament. He, no, he's not just a scholar of the New Testament. He's a historian, yeah. No, he's not just a historian. Okay. He is an he is a scholar of antiquity and its literature, okay. which means that he reads literature from antiquity. Every piece of literature from antiquity that he can read, 
He reads it. So you read Arabic literature? One second, so one second. Short, there was no Arabic literature in antiquity because the Arabic language didn't start to emerge until about the 5th century. So in short, you say Bar Ehrman... Um, you didn't know that, did you? So in short, Bar Ehrman knows what he's talking about. One second, about. Yes. one second, and I haven't Bar finished. Bar Ehrman tells us how... So, Abbas, when Bar Ehrman reads the literature, from antiquity, what does he no, find? He does what? not find the Quran. If you lie, he lie does enough. not find an Injil. But the Quran says existed. They you. They and so, they, when he does not the find truth. these but things, he concludes they, they the that the Quran is no evidence the to the life of Jesus 2,000 years ago. But when he reads the Bible, he does use it as evidence and he has used it as evidence in debate about the life of Jesus. So your authority that you use to attack the Bible chucks the Quran in the bin. So his, obviously his demon is shaken in from inside, so that's why he's talking loud. So now the question is, Bart Ehrman is authority and he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking of about. Of what? Of Bible, of, and? A, of antiquity. There you go. So, the you literature of antiquity. Why are you talking over me? For God's sake. Oh, wait, wait. Hold your spirit. How many For times did you interrupt, Abbas? Your spirit. How many times did you speak. interrupt? No, you interrupted okay, multiple you times. You so you have when no you right to complain. When you, when you interrupt me, you know that that means I will just have to interrupt you until you learn to act like a man of your esteemed years and conduct yourself like a gentleman as opposed to this trashy street debater that you are behaving at like hominem, now. So, that's my Christian so, for me. Okay, so, wait, 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 we you know, we know that you who believes that the Quran says that we're dumb animals doesn't have the right to lecture us about ad hominems. Your Quran is full of ad hominems against Christians directly. It calls us dumb animals. It calls us the worst of creatures. Tell me, do you believe Do you believe that I'm a dumb animal and the worst of creatures? But maybe you're talking about people at that time. Your Jesus thing about I'm a dog. But wait, is when I ask you the question about Bart Ehrman, you switch it to Islam. What a you are. You cannot defend the Christianity, you switch it to Islam. Let me explain that. Your criticism is fair, let me explain that. What about, Go on, I'll what about, about Ehrman, right? Is he, a, is, he a, is he like, does he know a lot about well, the Bible? Probably more than you, you have to admit. Okay, so well, let, 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 let me address two, two questions. Again, you're going to go to Islam. Right? You ask two questions. Well, when you find one, courage, I will one, go there. Yeah, one, when you find some manners, I'll talk with you. Courage. When you find some manners, Abbas. So, so, you ask two points, one of them is valid. Why is it whenever you ask a critique, whenever you make a critique of Christianity, do I flip it and apply it to Islam? That's not good. That's not uh, good uh, let me explain, let me explain. It, it, it's for this reason. Because if a criticism, if a criticism, it leaves us with a number of options. If your criticism of my faith is valid, but it is also valid of your faith, then it means that both our faiths are invalidated by the criticism. Now, since you will never accept that the criticisms you're making about my faith also invalidate your faith, then they can't be marshaled as a reason to invalidate mine. So that's the answer to that question. Then you said about Bar Ehrman, does he know more than me? About the textual manuscripts, absolutely he does. So why doesn't he accept One second, name? one second. Oh, go ahead, sir. You see, this is the point, bro. You hear something, it triggers your script, and then you shoot out the next thing, no, so, rather just, than listen. You're just older than me, so, you, so I'm obviously gonna be. So, so I'm not. I'm let not me. Professional. I don't come here every So Sunday listen, like you. listen. You know how to debate. I don't know listen, how to debate. listen. So let me give you some tips. You know, you know the secret of being a good debater is actually listening to what your opponent is saying. So, let, like I've been doing, I've been repeating back to you what you've been saying. So. Listen, you know, you're, you're looking over there, you're not listening to me. Are you listening to me or to them? Okay, right. So, you said, Bart Ehrman said X, therefore, X is true. Or, if X is not true, why doesn't Bart become a Christian? Bart Ehrman isn't the, the single voice in this world or in this discussion. Dr. Dan Wallace is a Christian and he disagrees with Bart Ehrman. Dr. Bruce Metzger taught Bart Ehrman and doesn't and didn't when he was alive agree with the conclusions that Bart Ehrman made. 
But I'll tell you something. Bart Ehrman says the Quran is zero evidence for the life of Jesus. Bruce Metzger would agree. Dr. Dan Wallace would agree. Dr. Mike Lacona would agree. Dr. James White would agree. And Dr. N.T. Wright would agree. But those other names, apart from Bart Ehrman, would all disagree with Bart Ehrman about what he says about the Bible. So if all of these scholars are telling you that your Quran is not evidence about the life of Jesus, why don't you believe them? Because, again, like I said, they're, they're we can say that what they're really specialized in is Christianity, not Islam. Right? No, you're wrong. But I don't care what they say about the Quran because they're, they're Bible scholars. They're not One Quranic second. scholars. You got it wrong. Let me tell you what they're scholars of. They are scholars. They are scholars of ancient literature from antiquity. They don't just read the Bible. Dr. Mike Lacona reads the writings of, of Plebius, of Plotinus, Papias. N.T. Wright reads the Church Fathers. You know, um, Clement of Alexandria. Bart Ehrman reads pagan literature. Like the the, 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 the the saga of Gilgamesh. So they read all this ancient literature, not just Christian literature. Christian literature is what makes them famous. That's why they're known. Well, hold on one second. But when they read all of this literature, they know what they don't find. They don't find an Islamic Injil, but the Quran says should be there. The Quran said that uh, Jesus received an Injil, right? But maybe it was lost. Right, one second. But the Quran also says that the followers of Isa will be made victorious over their enemies until the day of judgment. Did you know that? Okay. Um, again, Did you know that? Into specifics. I don't really know what the specifics. Are. Right. If if Allah is going to make one group victorious over another group, mm. and though that group are the Muslims, do you not think we should find them somewhere in history? Maybe the history is lost. History has been lost before. Brother, you know what that is? That's called grasping at straws. Okay, okay, it's grasping at straws. Can you just, are can, grasping can at straws. Can I just look at Islam and Christianity? Islamic scholars, and you can bend it to Christianity scholars, there are many Christianic scholars who have different views of the Bible. Some believe that there's a little contradiction. Some believe there's no contradiction. So, it's, 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 I've, and I've seen it, even, I've seen like on like even Christian channels where the biblical scholars, they say different things. They have different opinions of the like Bible. Like Muslims. But no, when you look Muslims at Islam, do. Islamic scholars, yes, they do. People have one bound that the Quran wrong, has no contradictions. Wrong. You're not, not bro, changed. You're not speaking to an ignoramus. Again, like I said, you said you're not a scholar. You you don't know no, Islam. But bro. I'm saying I've done my research. No, you haven't. No, like I've I've just looked up a video. So you're saying the Shia scholars and Sunni scholars agree? Again, no, he's saying based on the Quran. Oh no no. Just forget Shia. The, so Shia and Sunni are not both using the Quran. Shia doesn't believe in the Quran. Oh, Shia don't believe in the Quran. Are you a Sunni by any chance? Yeah, I'm so, I'm a what a surprise. No, what again, a surprise. Again, again, the Sunni says that again, the Shia don't believe in the Quran. What I'm trying to say is that overall, overall, there are many biblical scholars who have who, who think that the Bible is, do, do the do the Salafists do the Salafists agree with the Diobandi? Again, yeah, but they, they all have oh. one substance. No, they don't. That one, that's no. mine, I think. Do, do the Diabandi agree with the Baravelvi? I might have mispronounced, yeah. yes. Brelvis, yeah. No, they don't. No, listen. No, they don't. Stars. Which one of them that's celebrates that's Muhammad's birthday? Brelvis. And which one doesn't? Well, the rest of them. Diabandi, there you go. Yeah. So they don't agree but on how to yeah, practice that, yeah, Islam. That's, that's not the Quran. Stars. I'm that's speaking now about the Quran. Okay, Dr. Yasser Qadi. Oh, uh, what? The yeah. narrative has holes in it. Yeah. I've, actually, I've, I've looked into that. Remember, the context, what did you guys so I'll give you the context. The what did? Thing. What was the context? So about he compared, we're gonna, he compared the we're gonna, West. Just before you speak, right? Listen, just before you speak, Again. what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you to give your context as you remember it. I'm going to do the same, and then we're going to slice it in the video so that we get Muhammad Hijab and Dr. Yasakadi speaking to one another, and let's see which Again. one of us remembers the question better. All I know is that I'm, what did I'm what did Dr. Yasakadi say? He said that. And then after he said that the horse has narratives in it, did he not say that, come on to my online lessons and I will debunk this and I will show you why, like, did he not say that? Well, let, this is, sh shall I tell you what happened? Mohammed Hijab said, asked Dr. D Dr. Yasser Kadi a simple question. If I give you a mushaf yeah. and you write down the Quran, and now that's about as far as he got before Dr. Yasser Kadi interrupted. Mm. And Dr. Yasser Kadi said, Aki, it's not that simple. 
there are, and then he would give a bit of explanation that I can't remember. Yeah, you see. And then he said, and then he said, there are holes in the narrative. The Western scholars are asking questions about the Quran that a Muslim scholar would never dare to ask. He was comparing it to the manuscripts that we have now. Thank right? you. So there's differences. No, yeah, but, but that's are there course, differences through translation, of course. But that's not transmission. We still have manus manuscripts. We're talking about transmission, not translation. Okay, but the Yazid Khalid is not a good example. I'll tell you, because oh, he's not a good. He's not yeah, a good example. It's not, he's just a, one of your leading scholars on the Quran, no, but he's not a good example. No, it's not. I'll tell you why. Because he's, he explained how much of a, how much he took out of context. Because the Bible scholars, they're out. out you know what he should have done. Out blank say. You know what he should have done. He doesn't. He should have gone to Dr. J. Smith and he said, "You're yeah. lying about what I said. Debate me." Perfect. Or he should have gone to Hatun. You're lying about what I said. Debate me Perfect. or he should have gone to Do uh, Dr. David Wood and he sh should have gone you're lying about what I said debate me but he didn't you know what he did is he took down the video because he wants it to be forgotten okay. and you know why he's doing that because Muslims are leaving Islam because of what he said Perfect. 100%. But again, they're leaving the sun because they're not really educated in it and they think, oh, now it's just holding it, I'm going to leave. That, so if you're leaving Islam because of that, then I don't, I'm not really sure if you are. So uh, what do you think, when, when he said the narrative have holes in it, what yeah. do you think he means? I think he was talking about the manuscripts when he compared them to the West Qur'ans, the Qur'ans in the West, right? That's not what the topic of he conversation was. Speaking about, was. speaking about the manuscripts. He wasn't speaking about that. Was he talking about, Quran. was he talking about Arabic manuscripts? Okay, let's see. Let's was he talking okay. about Arabic manuscripts? Huh? Was he talking about Arabic manuscripts? Yes, he was. Right, so if he's talking about Arabic manuscripts yeah. and he says the narrative have holes in it, what is he saying about the Arabic manuscripts? He's talking about the narrative holes in it, not the Arabic manuscript, the Quran. Sh that, shall that, I tell you what he's saying? Again, but he already explained what he was saying. So no, he hasn't. He has. He just said, he come has. on to my course, Aki, yeah, I'll explain then, everything so, there. Okay, That's so, all so he said. Think, so you think he didn't make another show, video? Or show me, tweet? The, yeah, show me the video. Tweet. Show me the video. I don't have internet, but he made a tweet saying saying that, that many of what he said was taken off context and it was comparing... But did he then explain he was, it? Yeah, he was comparing the manuscripts that we have now, yeah. which by the way... Uh, uh, which manuscripts? What do you mean? He's talking about Arabic manuscripts. He's not talking about English translations. He's talking Actually, about sure. Arabic I'm, manuscripts. I'm not sure if talking about Arabic, but he was talking about manuscripts. He was, right? yeah, yeah, he's, if he says, so he was talking about if the he Quran says, bro, if he says, okay. if he uses the word manuscripts, that is scholarly language. Okay. I know what he's referring okay. to. If he's saying manuscripts, he's talking about old Arabic Qurans. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Yasser Kadir. Yasser Kadir. Can I ask a question? You know what made me, when I saw this Yasser Kadir, he actually grew my chef in Islam. Shall I tell you why? Before you respond, I'll Good say sales pitch. Christians, I hope you're Wait, learning. Can, can I tell you Look why? at this guy. Can I tell He's you brilliant. why? Can I tell you why? Go on. Because how happy Christians got, because they know they got the exact same thing, even worse. There was paintings about it on the walls of Yasser Qadir, what he said, right? I mean, come on, the level of happiness Christians got, yeah. because they knew that they have even worse No, that's not Bible. the reason why we were happy. Yes, they were. No, no, shall and I tell yeah, you? Yes, I'm a Christian. Can't. I was one of those people that were happy. Shall I tell you why I was happy? Let me Your tell you. Opinion, Let me I've tell you why I was happy. Because we Christians have won the argument no. for decades. Process. Muslims okay. in this park have argued okay. that the Quran has never been okay. changed and now the house of cards are tumbling down. Okay. There They're are not. Not. different Arabic Qurans. Some I remember, yes, oh. Qadir is yes, sir. Just one minute of time. Uh, the police have told us they're going to ban Speaker's Corner next week. Yeah. No meetings over six. Right? Oh, yeah, it's being banned. So what I'm thinking of doing is printing out some placards that just say the government advice is only six people are allowed to gather. So that we, because otherwise you and I can be arrested, charge £10,000, and called in a meeting where more than six people gather. Yeah. So that they told us this directly, the police. So if we, if we have a little placard that says, the government says six, you and I aren't doing it then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that all right with you? You can do, yeah. I, mean, I, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be here next week. Okay, well, okay, but it's six months they're talking about. Again, I haven't decided. Okay, but neither here nor there. I've got, I've got to think it up. Yeah, yeah, on principle, I'd be up for that. Yeah. Okay, so again, I want to say it was a good conversation having with you. Okay. And, um... Bro, can I, can I invite you to do something, yeah? Right, you're of, you, you know, you're, one of these days, you're going to grow up to be this really good debater, right? But being good at debate isn't the same as being a sincere truth seeker. I am a sincere truth seeker. Great, that's fantastic. So what I would encourage you to do is, and if you want, I'll even do this with you, Right, is sit with a learned Christian and actually study what Christians actually believe. 
That's it. That's all I'm asking you to do. I'll, I'll think my head less. Yeah, and if you want me to take you up with that offer, I will sit with you. We will not talk about Islam. We will only talk about what the Bible says. Yeah, but I, I feel like you, the thing about, like, when someone asks you a question about Christianity, when someone asks you a question about Islam... Do you remember I never, why I... I, I... I forgot what this is called, but this is something called... Uh, it's, uh, I've seen it before. It, it's, it's a when, fallacy in logic. Yeah, it's, it's when, a fallacy in it's logic. when someone criticizes you something about you and you go to another yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a fallacy I in logic. I never do yeah. that because I hate doing that yeah. because that doesn't prove my point. That doesn't prove my yeah. religion is right. So I feel like... I feel like you should do less of that because it really. But what, 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 what I think the case is is one's more knowledgeable and the other one isn't. Yeah. So of course he's going to tell you mm. because you're wrong in what you're saying. Again, that's he's in the he's in the motion where he. But he, how do you know he, he's not wrong? He's well, he can be wrong because what he's saying to you it's written. Like, Again, that's. Do, but like, I, what like, I'm saying can be written. That. I feel like this, this is not. Let's not get into the silly things that you know. You're bro, talks. bro, what, 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 what I would say to you, if I'm going to just remind you why I did that. I'm going to remind you why I did that. Yeah, you already said because. Because, because if you make a criticism of my faith, exactly. that is also true of your faith, yeah. then it, it. It, it, it means one of two things. Either both our faiths are invalidated because of the criticism, i.e. both Christianity and Islam are false, or the criticism itself is invalid. But, but the example you used about but I mean, criticizing the Quran, I mean the Bible, but he also criticized the Quran. I will not accept that because he doesn't know anything about the Quran. You, 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 you've got told, it wrong I again. He already told me about the. Uh, he is the a scholar of the. He, he said Bart Ehrman, Doctor Bart, Doctor Bart Ehrman says, Doctor Bart Ehrman says, and he says this about the Quran. He says that no reputable scholar would ever use the Quran as evidence about the life of Jesus. But I cannot take a Christian biblical scholar. He's word. not a Christian. Well, he was. You know what I'm talking about. You but yeah, but, but, listen, but the, the point is, I know what you're but talking he, about, but, but you he, don't he, know what okay. you're saying. Is he in the Christian bubble? Is he in the Christian bubble? Like, no, studying Christianity, Bible, all of this, right? He, I, and whatever I'll, he says about it Quran, I cannot take. I will say it to you again. I I to you again. I, because, because, again, you're not listening. I didn't listen. No, you didn't. Because he is a scholar of literature from 2,000 years ago. And when he reads all of this literature, the Bible, the New Testament, and all these other books from 2,000 years ago, he finds zero right, evidence, right. zero right. evidence to validate the claims okay. made in can the I, Quran. I, Nothing. I, Nada. Yeah, you, Zip. Okay, you know I've been on his YouTube channel, and it's 24-7 Christianity. Not once did he bring Islam, right? So Because he's made his money out of attacking Christianity. No, 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 because he doesn't know anything about Islam. Because then he would be making debates about Islam. No, brother, so again, he knows he, about he, antiquity. Again. He's answering but, questions about antiquity. Is, but what his opinion, what, what his opinion on his, antiquity and his, But here's the thing, here's the antiquity. thing. What he says about the Bible, Dan, do, there are other scholars would disagree with him. Dr. Dan Wallace would disagree and with some him. some agree with Dr. him. Dr. Mike Lacona would disagree with him. Dr. Bruce Metzger disagreed with him. Wait, one second. But what he said about the Quran, Dr. Bruce Metzger would agree. Dr. Dan Wallace yeah. would agree. Well, Dr. No, no, Mike no, Lacona not, would agree. They're, they're so all of these scholars, Which are, when they say something about the Bible, you pick out the one that you like. No. But when that same scholar says something that you don't like about your book, no. you say he's not an expert. No, no but yet all the other scholars would agree with his criticism Again, of the Quran. You never heard me. So that's no, called no, selective no, reasoning. Not the one I don't like, the one that is all over YouTube's channel. All of his articles, everything Christianity, not one word of Islam or Quran came out of his mouth. But apparently he's been speaking a lot about Islam. No, he's made a, he's, he's made a comment oh, about a comment. the Quran. So yes, he destroyed the Quran for a yeah. comment, right? So what's worse? A comment in or terms a of, or in terms of, studying the Bible. in terms of, in terms of I, I the question, which is, can the Quran be used as evidence is to it, the life yeah. of Jesus? Of course, all no. scholarship agrees the answer is no, of they will. and they are not yes, all Christians. Unequivocally, well. unequivocally they all of say no. Of course, they will. And it will. isn't. And this is the logic. Well, is he's not a Muslim. I agree, which tells you that only someone who has had their thinking distorted by a religion would argue against all the evidence. Not because they're not Muslim, because they they study Christianity. No, again, you got it wrong. Let me correct you again. They study the literature of antiquity. It is the fact that they make comments about how, how Christian that literature that that from antiquity how that has made them famous, but the they study all literature from antiquity. And when they study the panorama of literature 
from antiquity, what they find is there is nothing to support the claims made in the Quran about Jesus. Nothing. Well, anywhere. By anyone. At any time. That's their own, but maybe they're not studying the correct thing. Oh, maybe they're not studying the correct thing. Yeah. This is called clutching at straws. It's not clutching is that again. I will not take a biblical scholar's word for about what he says about the Quran. I'll is say it, it is again. It, okay, it's like an Islamic. They are scholars of the literature oh. of antiquity. Okay. That again, what does they that do about? not just study the Bible. Explain they that. study... Right, let me explain it, bro, because this guy ain't listening. So let me explain it to you and hopefully when he's what's not that, so head up. So... About, about Amr, he's a biblical scholar, right? About Amr. And then he made, apparently he made a comment on the Quran, that's it. What he's saying. And I'm a Maronite from the Lebanese church. I love the Maronites. Thank you very Peace much. Peace be with you, bro. Because, no, because he's saying that but, um, left Christianity. One second. He made a comment about the Quran. What's that about yeah, Right, so let me, let me explain what the comment was, and then we'll, we'll see if it's valid. Okay? The comment was this, that in terms of evidence about the life of Jesus, no reputable scholar would ever use the Quran. Now, Bar Ehrman, along with Dr. Dan Wallace and a bunch of others that I can name that I'm not going to go into yeah, listing. So One second, first, you asked first. me to explain no, no, something. No, but you said Bar Ehrman's the first, yeah? No, I didn't say he was the first. You said not one. I just, no, I just said, Bar Ehrman. Notice, he asks a question, but he doesn't want to listen to the answer. Do you want, do you want to listen to the answer to your question? No, you asked a question about what was, what is a scholar of antiquity? The literature of antiquity. You said explain that. You see, unlike you, I'm listening to what you're saying. So listen to what I'm saying and then try and reply. It will be less embarrassing for you. So, in terms of the question, you said, what does it mean to be a scholar of antiquity? It means this, that you, or the literature of antiquity. It means that if you can find any source, any book, any piece of literature, religious or secular, the Bible or something else, you read it, you study it, you pass commentary on it. Okay. Bart Ehrman does this. Um, N.T. Wright does this. Bruce Metzger did it. What was the comment? Right, one second. Right. When they study this panorama of literature, they find nothing at all, zero, nada, not a thing by anyone, anywhere, at any time, That's from antiquity, that says That's anything that supports that supports that supports the claims made in the Quran about Jesus okay, and so Bar Ehrman said because of this reason uh -huh. that no reputable scholar would use the Quran as evidence about the life of the historical okay. Jesus what does that mean to you? now as a as a scholar of antiquity he is, and the others like him that agree with him, which is unanimous, by the way. So he disagrees with Christianity, though? He disagrees with Christianity, okay. but he disagrees with the Quran as well. He doesn't, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. So he when he says, he so that. when he says, he so when he says, why. hold on. Can so I, when he says that the Quran is why not sir? evidence, why, when he says that the Quran is not Every, evidence about opinion. the life that's of Jesus, opinion. you're he's saying, he's you're he's saying he agrees with the Quran. No, no, he's not saying that that You're saying he agrees with the Quran. I said to him, like, honestly, man, you just got a thing. He literally doesn't accept Christianity yet, and then he tries to switch it to Islam, saying, but he also doesn't accept Islam, right? Correct. Because of no, wait, wait, wait. Can you can you prove to me that um and studied the Quran? He didn't. I, and he the, 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 I know he hasn't. He's not making that statement on his study of so the Quran. So he just picked up a verse. I said, no, no verse. And I'll, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, he is <laughs> dismissing yeah. en toto okay. and in, in its entirety. Yeah. Everything so, the Quran says about Jesus. So he's a, oblivious to the Quran, yeah? No, I, I wouldn't say he's oblivious. He is. How do you know? Prove he, it. He hasn't studied the Quran. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's wait. never made the video. So he's Quran. never picked up that's, a Quran. That's, that's he's never, he's made, never had a conversation no, with a Muslim. Let's, let's stay with he's facts. never. On his exactly. Video, let's, let's stick with facts. the facts. Okay. Okay. I am doing the facts. No, you're YouTube not. Video. You have made a claim. You have made a claim. The facts are. You have made a claim. I'm a left Christianity. 
the facts are, yeah? Bart Ehrman says that the Quran isn't wait, 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 evidence about the life of Jesus. Another fact is, Bart Ehrman studied the Quran. And if he has proven, prove it. You prove it to me. Wait one second. You're the one making the claim. Okay, okay. You oh, have no. made the claim. 100 yes. You prove okay, it. I'll give you evidence. I'll give you evidence. Okay. I'll give you some so evidence. So you can prove that he's never picked up a Quran. He's never read a Quran. He's never talked to a Muslim scholar. He's never inquired. He's never inquired. You can prove all of that. He's done it to Christianity. What's your proof? He's done it to Christianity. What is your proof? Can I give you the proof? What is your proof? What is your proof? Studied Christianity. What is your proof? And discarded. So what? There are Muslim. There are Muslim Jews that have Who's left YouTube? Islam. Who's 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 Who? Sultan Muhammad Paul from Afghanistan. He's a, a convert from Islam. Okay. To, to what? Yeah. what does that mean? There's uh, another one. Al Fadi. Al Fadi. Okay. Uh, uh, a Medinan. A Medinan. Go and look him up. Go and look him up. Al Fadi. Al Fadi. So what? So what? So okay. what? Funny, what? I mean, this is this is no, this is though. called this is called clutching at straws, bro. It's, it's my daddy's bigger uh, than your you're, dad. You're, you're, argument. Yeah. That's the logic he's you're, using. You're me my daddy's name. bigger than your you, dad, you so is. therefore that's true. I'm you that's exactly the level of your argumentation right now. Right? Al Fadi is studying the Quran. He was a Saudi citizen, born in Medina. He's now a Christian. He lives in America. There are other examples. No, no, stay with that. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. I'm trying to think of another one. Let's do all one at a time. No, I'm thinking about a, 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 a Muslim caddy. He was a, uh, an Islamic judge that could be awesome. in the let's UK. Stay. He's let's still alive stay. today. I just can't remember his name. Let's find one of your claims. I can't remember his name. Uh -huh. Let's find one of your statements. What's his name? First one, Al Fadi. Okay, okay let's find all, all I can really yeah. show you is that yeah. again. And Google it. Google it right now. Let's find it. Google it. Google it right now. Google it right now. Go on. Wait. Well, you were big a minute ago. Let's study one of my claims. My claim is Al Fadi was a Saudi Arabian Muslim born from Medina who left Islam. But you said let's find him. So find him. He's studying the Arabic Quran right now. He finds contradictions in the Arabic Quran right now. Oh, you he finds me about errors that? in the Quran wait, 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 right wait, now. Wait, wait, I know who he is. Okay. Oh, my old buddy who wears like the. He says yeah, he wears the Arabic room. dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Is that, is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah. your example? Go on, what, what's your problem with him? Okay. What's Two your problem things. with him? He wears. Go on, he he's not a Muslim. He was yeah, never a Muslim. Like a are you Muslim. going to say. He was, he was never a Muslim. Is that what you're going to say? Are you going to say he was never a Muslim? Oh, he was a Muslim. Right. Wait, wait. And can he speak Arabic? Well, I, I've seen him make mistakes in his Arabic. I've seen videos of him. Oh, so you're fluent mistakes. in Arabic? No, I'm not fluent in Arabic. So you're I've you're fluent people. in you're not fluent in Arabic, but you're telling someone who was born in Saudi Arabia yeah. who mean? spoke Arabic as his first okay. language okay. that you're okay. spotting I'm errors I'm in his I'm Arabic. I'm born here. What I'm a joke! You know what that's Al called? Al that's called clutching okay. at straws, you know Al bro. Right? Al he's associated with David Wood. So you so you do know him. So he's not known. So you do know him. So you do know him. He knows him. He knows him. So he is known. Oh wait, wait! These guys were saying, who's heard of this guy? He's heard of him. So he is. Is known. Wait, wait. He's not known. So, he's so, known. so, he, so he, he is known debate. then. He doesn't debate. So he is he's, known why then. Does wait, wait. Wait, why does so he debate? Wait, why does he debate? So what? He's always going to get smashed down. So what? But, um, in the Those debate. are your conjectures. Prove no, it. You know what Prove it. He make, Prove he it. He sits down on a chair, makes a Prove that is the reason. Prove that is the reason. When you debate someone. Prove that is the reason. Okay, I'll prove you the reason. Go I'm debating with you right now, right? If I say something about Christianity, can you can you debunk it? Can you contradict it? Yasser Kadi. Yasser Kadi doesn't debate. Oh my God. Yes, a caddy doesn't debate. Oh, there you go. Oh, look. Once again, he sets up a double standard. Dr. Yasakadi doesn't debate. Do you know why? Now I'm going to lie about Dr. Yasakadi like he lied about Al Fadi. The reason why Dr. Yasakadi doesn't debate is because Dr. Yasakadi is scared that if he debates a Christian, he'll get debunked. There you go. I can do that too. I can just make things up on the spot just like you did. Who's Yasakadi? Oh, he's not heard of Dr. Yasakadi either. Wait, you know what your okay. problem is, bro? You haven't heard wait, of anybody. Wait, wait. That's the I problem. Heard of you. That's I've the heard of you. Oh, there wait, we go. I'm I've more famous wait, move, move. than Dr. Yasakadi, according wait, wait. to this guy. Brilliant. Let's speak for one second. 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 Yasakadi doesn't do what Alfred does, where he smashes Islam 24 7, right? He 
Yes, I can't. He just does. He's lectures to his people, his students. But he doesn't that's debate. Not his field. Because that's not his field. And what every yes, Muslim agrees with him. Yes, does every can't. Muslim agree with him? Listen to me. Does every Muslim agree with Dr. Yasser Qadi on every know, statement he makes? It matter. No, they don't. You Again. just read the comment section. Again. It's full of Muslims Again. saying Dr. Yasser Qadi Again. is wrong. Again. So Again. why doesn't Again. he debate? If Yasser Qadi was making some videos about Christianity, trying to say Christianity your, your, your is wrong, logic just that's doesn't stand up. You know that famous Islamic logic you know that started this whole conversation? Yeah, okay. Again. It's just exposed Again. as not being I, there Again. at all. If you come to me and start making saying things about Islam, then expect a debate. But if you're like Dr. Yasakadi. He doesn't he, but he doesn't he doesn't like speak about 24/7. Go on his YouTube channel. Yeah, Yo, Dr. Yasakadi talks Islam. about Islam Go. all the time. Exactly. No, exactly. So and lots of Muslims wait, wait, wait. disagree wait, wait, wait. with him. Wait. So wait, why wait. doesn't he debate? Wait, wait, wait. If your Yasakadi argument, bro. Huh? You see he's not yeah. I'll explain to you guys. The brother is saying that Dr. Yasak, Dr. Dr. Al Fadi yeah. shouldn't be listened to because he doesn't debate. And he criticizes Islam. And because he criticizes yeah. Islam. Dr. Yasakadi makes statements like there are holes in the narrative, which is a criticism of classical Islam. And lots of Muslims okay, disagree with I'm him, again. but Dr. Yasakadi doesn't debate. Uh, talk to me. So if by his logic, no, that wasn't my logic. because Al Fadi that's won't debate, therefore we shouldn't listen that's to not, him. Yeah. Then, because Yasser Qadi won't defend what he says about Islam, we shouldn't but, listen but to not, Dr. Yasser Qadi. That's, that's your logic. My logic was if you're talking about another religion, right? If you make a mistake about your religion, you don't need to debate anything, right? If, if they think it's a mistake, that's a mistake. But if I'm here saying Christianity is wrong, wrong, wrong. Like the Dawa team do every week. Yeah, but they debate. There's Al Fadi debate. No, he's never debated someone because he knows he'll get. Now, how do you know that he knows? What? What's prove to me, yeah? prove to me that Al Fadi yeah. knows that he will get smashed in a debate. W would show debate me, him? show would me the him? statement where Al Fadi says, "I okay. don't debate because I'm going to lose." Show me that. So, so why doesn't he debate? Oh, there we, that's a much more intelligent question. Why doesn't he debate? That is a much He's more intelligent question. online, let alone in real life. That is a so much more intelligent okay. question. Why doesn't he debate? Yeah, why? And what I would suggest to you is you, you contact Dr. Al Fadi and you oh. ask him yourself. Yeah, okay, I will. Because I cannot that. speak for Dr. Fadi. You are speaking for but him. But you are speaking but for, him. for him. Every well, time you, you say he doesn't debate, because he knows uh, he's going to get you smashed. Used him, you used him to you compare used with Bart Ehrman, right? Exactly. But, but I Ehrman, used him used as, as an example bad, of bad, someone who debates and, and Dr. Bart Ehrman has okay. been corrected by Dr. Dan Wallace, by Dr. James White, by Dr. Mike Lacona, Dr. By, by N.T. Wright. Dr. Bart Ehrman was challenged by his own professor on his conclusions Dr. Bruce Metzger, who taught Dr. Bart Ehrman, disagreed with the conclusions that Dr. Bart when Ehrman was drew. Yeah? Did he come back to Christianity? No, he didn't. But do you know why he left? Oh, let's look at this conspiracy. Bro. Yeah, shall I explain to you why Dr. <laughs> Bart Ehrman left Christianity? Mm. And these are his words, they're not my words. They're on record, you can check me. He didn't leave Christianity because of the textual variants of the Greek manuscript. He left Christianity. No, he didn't. He criticized You're wrong. And Dr. Bart Ehrman is on record. I've watched a video where Dr. Bart Ehrman says with his own mouth. I did not leave Christianity because of the textual variants. Well, you the text. You're, you no, you, you have opinion. made a claim that Dr. Bart Ehrman left Christianity because of the textual variants. So you the you text. have lied about Dr. Bart Ehrman. Dr. Bart Ehrman, according to his own words, he said, I did not leave Christianity because of the textual variants. He, text. he said, I left Christianity because I couldn't square a God that was good with the suffering I saw in the world. And that is a criticism that is as valid against Islam as it is against Christianity. That's what so, Bart Ehrman so said. So he with the you text. don't know. So he agrees with the text. Shall I tell you what, Doctor? He makes a hundred videos. Shall about I tell you? Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you? This is Paul Shall I tell you what Doctor Bart Ehrman said? Let's I tell you something else that Dr. Bart Ehrman said. Mm. Because out of the two of us, I'm the only one that's ever read a book by Dr. Bart Ehrman. Dr. Bart Ehrman says 
Dr. Bart Ehrman says yeah, that look. no textual variant, no textual variant compromises any fundamental Christian book doctrine. Book? Book? Not one. So what what the book Do you know what the textual variants are? Listen, I'm giving saying, you an education now. Again, no, you're not. What you're you saying are. is you're going to a different topic. Let's see who's getting schooled. You said that Let's Bart Ehrman never today. left Christianity because of the text. That is what, yet, Bart, that is yet, what Dr. Bart okay, Ehrman but said. But he makes thousands of videos why the text yes, is a joke. But that isn't the reason why he left. But that isn't the reason why he left. one of the reasons. No, it isn't. So well, why did you criticize him? Because, he's, he's, because okay. that is his field of study. It's what made him famous and it's what sells books. I'll give you an example. It's like me saying, Brother, I leave Islam. I literally just told okay, you okay. why Bart Ehrman okay. left but Christianity again, it's like, it's like, and you simply don't want to accept the like, reason. It's like me saying, I left Islam, not because of the Dr. Quran. Bart Ehrman can you said... Finish? What's, what happened to interrupt? You, 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 go on, make yeah. up your silly story about Dr. Bart Ehrman. Make up your silly story about Dr. Bart Ehrman. I'm going to use an analogy. Basically, let's say I say I leave Islam yep. because of the Quran, not because of the Quran, right? Yeah. Because of God, right? Yeah. But then I spend my whole career saying the Quran is a joke. You mean so like course, you mean like lots of ex-Muslims do? Yeah. So, you mean like lots of ex-Muslims do? Again, Muslim, you have to change something. Do you okay. see the logic? He you just doesn't see, get how his just, logic you doesn't you line just, up. Just did He's again. saying what he is saying. He is saying that Dr. Bart Ehrman must have left Christianity because of the textual variants, despite the fact I have literally watched Dr. Bart Ehrman explain why he left Christianity and it wasn't because of the textual variants. And he's just saying it was. What evidence have you got? He criticised them every day. What evidence? He's saying because they criticise. He says because Bart Ehrman criticises the text, that's the reason he left. No, it isn't. There are many ex-Muslims who leave Islam because they don't want to follow a 7th century paedophile who raped a child. They're not scholars. They leave Islam because of the top, the, the prophet's example, but then they go on to explain that the Quran is full of errors. It wasn't the errors in the Quran that made them leave Islam. It was because Muhammad shagged a nine-year-old girl and married her when she was six years old. Who, who has ever heard of a six-year-old child who understands what marriage is? Who can consent to marriage? Who can turn around to an adult, her parents and her entire community and say, I'm ready to have sex with a 52-year-old man. So, so I just and they go on and they go on to point out errors in the Quran. They don't leave Islam because of the errors in the Quran, but they spend the rest of their life criticizing the Quran. So what just happened right there is you went on another dimension because what I was saying was right. No, it wasn't. I'm so happy you just did that. It wasn't. But you just went right It wasn't. Direction. You just okay. didn't listen. I said, I said, good debate. You didn't listen to the logic, bro. Well, I said about was right and you had to You need to watch Muhammad. this video again and you, you will no, 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 see no. that you didn't the follow any logic. There. You literally turned to the camera and just started shouting. I don't know what happened. I feel like something just triggered in your brain. Yeah. Because what I said was right. I saw a teaching yeah. opportunity. Again, like That's I what said. happened. I saw a teaching opportunity. <laughs> I can't hear you, brother, with a mask on. Sorry. Who was the wife he married while she was six, six years old? What, sorry? What's the name of the wife he married while she was six So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to reference this, it was Aisha. She was six years old when she was forced to marry a 52 year old man. Have you ever heard of a six year old who understood what marriage was so she, she could consent to it? And then Muhammad had sex with her when she was nine. Nine. Brothers and sisters, we can do better than this seventh century Bedouin. His name is Jesus Christ. I've never yet met a person who can look at Jesus Christ and find fault with him. So which example do you want to follow? Jesus Christ, you're right, I am. Who do you want to follow? Jesus Christ or Muhammad?